welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be we will be recre recreating the uh, calculator tutorial that I posted. Uh, I don't know, maybe a year ago. Um, okay, um, basic functions will be uh, adding, subtracting, multiplication, and division, and some other error checking. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do some. We're going to open the PHP tags like so, and we're going to create the form first and then we're going to do the PHP here. What I have here is if post submit doesn't exist. To define a doesn't exist uh, clause, uh, just put an exclamation point in front of the variable. This will basically tell us that this variable doesn't exist, so do this. Else, do this. So here we're just going to go ahead and echo out the form. So echo table Okay, now we'll add the form part. We're using post data and the file name is calc.php for calculator. And here we're going to add the first um, numeral. So input type equals text, name equals num1. All right, we'll end that data cell. Then we'll do We'll add another data cell, and this is where we're going to uh, create the um, the drop-down list of the the signs. So we have select name equals sign, and the first one will be option value equals plus, and we're going to have the plus sign there. And the second one will be option value equals minus, and we'll put the minus sign in there. Okay, and option value equals multi. This will be for multiplication. We'll put the asterisk. And then for the last one, we'll put divide, and we'll put the backslash for division. And we'll close this off, and we will end this data cell. Okay, and now we're going to add the uh, second number. So another input type equals text. This one we're going to call name2 or num2 and then the last data cell will be the submit button input type equals submit name equals submit that name equals submit is very important because it corresponds with the if post submit doesn't exist clause and value equals calculate oops calculate and we'll go ahead and end the table cell and the row and the form in the table save it and we'll go ahead and see what it looks like. That's what we have here. And view source. Oops, I opened a document by mistake. Okay, and we'll go ahead and view the source. And that's what you see there. Okay. So we'll go back in here. And now we'll go here where this ending curly braces, and we'll add the word else, and then open and closing curly braces like that. And this is where we're going to do the PHP and the calculations of the number 1 and number 2. So we're going to define the variables. So num1 equals post num1. Num2 equals post num2. And sign equals post sign. And now we're going to do some error checking. So we're going to define error equals array. I'm going to call it errors. And uh, after that, we're going to create another array called signs. So signs equals array. Okay, we'll do plus, minus, multi, and divide. Just like so. And we're going to do this. If num1 doesn't exist, we'll create a new um, case of errors. So errors open and closing brackets. This will be a continuation of the array. And we'll add you did not supply the first number. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do else. That means it does exist. Now, if num2 errors equals you did not supply the second number, and we'll do another else statement here. If sign 
errors you do not supply a sign to calculate your two numbers else now we're going to check if um, the sign that we submitted is in the signs array if it is if it isn't we're going to do errors equals invalid sign for calculation else now we're going to check to see if sign equals divide and now if it is if num2 equals 0 errors equals you cannot divide by 0 please choose a different second number okay now basically else also in this we're going to do if num t num1 isn't numeric so we're going to use the is underscore numeric function errors your first number is not numeric okay else that means it is if is numeric num2 actually if isn't but we're still using the is numeric uh, function your second number is not numeric okay and we'll go back down to here which is right here whatever here is okay we'll go down and see if count errors is greater than zero echo the following errors have occurred okay now for each errors as error echo error break new line alright okay and we'll go in and save this and go in and test what we have right now calculate you do not supply the first number if we do then we'll go calculate it. you do not supply the second number now we'll go ahead and try the division part okay which would equal zero of course um, okay for now on it, it seems to have worked now we're going to go ahead and try to um, change this to something else like hello calculate you did not supply a sign to calculate your two numbers easy as that we'll refresh the page and now we'll go ahead and here we'll do else that means no errors exist okay and uh, we'll do a switch statement so switch sign case plus and we'll do equation equals num one plus num two all right and written equals num one plus num two <coughs> we'll break it case minus equation equals num one minus num two written equals num one minus num2 like so break case multi equation equals num1 times num2 using the asterisk written equals num1 times num2 and last but not least case divide equation equals num one divided by num two written equals num one divided by num two break and we'll we'll supply a default cause so equation equals nothing written equals nothing and now we're going to go down here and echo written equals equation this should work. We'll go down here, Mozilla Firefox. One plus two is three. 
1 minus 2. Okay, there we have an error in our minus clause. So, we go down here. Alright, see we have... I spell... Did I spell something wrong? Yeah, I spelled it written wrong. I put two R's. Okay, so go ahead and calculate. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 divided by 2 is 0.5. Now we'll go ahead and check the is numeric clause here. So we'll do 1 times 5 point. Well, actually, we'll do 2 times 5.5, 5, which should give us 11. Okay. Simple as that. We go ahead and add them 7.5. We can subtract them, negative 3.5. And division, I can't do that in my head. And 0.36 easy as that. You can always add on to it if you have any other um, signs that you wish to uh, carry out. Alright, well if you like this video, uh, it's important that you rate or comment them. Um, this video will be available in high definition. Um, what else? Yeah, well if you like this video and you've seen other of my videos and you still haven't subscribed, I urge you to subscribe since, well, you'll receive my videos as soon as I upload them. And that's always a good thing. Well, I'll see you next time. Thank you.